Welcome back to part four of our series, Building the App, MVC Couch. We're finally at the end of our series, and now we can see the finish line. We've taken all the steps to prepare for and build our application, and now we're finally going to focus on publishing our application. So the last tutorial in our series, tutorial 4.6, will focus on pushing the app to CouchDB with CouchApp, and also building a minified version of our app with Sencha SDK tools. We're going to use Couch App to push MVC Couch to our local Couch database, and we're also going to demonstrate using Couch App to push MVC Couch to our Couch in the Cloud, hosted by Iris Couch. We're going to use Sencha's SDK tools to minify and optimize a version of our application that we're going to send to Iris Couch. So let's go ahead and get started. You may recall in a previous tutorial how I showed you to set up this Couch App RC configuration file so that we can set up our environment. And then I showed you how to use this DB configuration to record the URIs of your Couch databases. So here we have defined a URI to our local Couch DB on localhost, and another one defined for our Iris Couch instance in the cloud. So to reference these on the command line, all I have to use is the shortcut word local to push to my local CouchDB, or the shortcut cloud to point to my cloud DB. So let me demonstrate how to push our MVC Couch app to our local instance of CouchDB. First, you'll open a command line window. Then you'll type in the path to your Couch App folder, which is here for us. Then, once you're in that folder, you simply type Couch App, Push, and Local, like we defined in our environment. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, Couchback reported back to us that the push was successful, and it gives us a URI where we can find our application in a browser. So let's see what that should look like in Futon. After a successful Couch App push, you should see your design document here, Design MVC Couch. And if you go to look at the contents of that document, you should see all of the required fields, all of the attachments, and our CouchDB view, just as we had configured it. And once you've confirmed that, you should be able to see your finished application in a browser by pointing to the same URI that CouchApp reported. So that was super easy. Now, of course, we're just testing and developing, so our application right now isn't very optimized. We have a bunch of resource files we're probably not using, and all of our source code files are still separated into separate individual classes. If we wanted to publish a production version of our application, we certainly would want to optimize the code. We'd probably want to minify our JavaScript into just one file and put everything in one line without any line breaks or any comments in our source code. We'd want to do everything we can to get the footprint of our JavaScript as small as possible. So that's what the SDK Tools command line program does that Sencha provided for us. We talked about this in an earlier tutorial, but let's go ahead and take a look at using those tools to build a special minified version of MVC Couch. The first thing I want to do is prepare uh, some of our source code files for minification, and that's pretty easy to do. Really, all I need to do is edit our doc model that we defined earlier. You'll notice under our proxy config that we configured our URL to point to localhost. But for our minified app, we want to publish this to our couch in the cloud at Iris Couch. I currently have that commented out, so all I need to do is uncomment that URL and then comment out our localhost URL. Another very important thing I want to do is change this no cache property from false to true. And I'll explain the reason for that. Oftentimes, modern browsers will aggressively cache GET requests. Sometimes this makes it very difficult for your application to see the latest changes from your back end. Sencha conveniently gives us a workaround for this problem by providing the no cache property. 
if we set that to true, it'll tell the browser to never cache our GET requests. And that's something I found the hard way is needed when we're dealing with Iris Couch. We don't really need to worry about this when we're pushing to our local host instance of CouchDB, but when using Iris Couch or any couch in the cloud, you certainly want to take advantage of no cache. Now along with that configuration change, I'm going to go ahead and comment out the cache string property as well, and this will uh, tell ext.js to use their default cache string, which is just DC, and that stands for disable caching. Now all I need to do is save those changes, and now all my source code files are ready for minification by SDK tools. So let's go ahead and build our optimized application using SDK tools by opening up a command line window. First, we need to navigate to our attachments folder, which I've already done here. The next thing we need to do is create a JSB3 file for our application. A JSB3 file is like a manifest that will use your index.html to go through and find all dependent classes, either ext.js4 source code files or your own custom application files, but only the classes that are needed for your application will be included in your final app.js file. So we can create this JSB3 file by simply typing in a command on the command line with the proper switches and then run it, and as you can see here in our folder structure, it automatically built this app.jsb3 file for us. The next thing we need to do is actually build the application using SDK tools. SDK tools will use this new JSB3 file we just created to go ahead and create the minified JavaScript application file that will become our new version of MVC Couch. So to do that, we'll just paste in that command. It's the sencha build command and run it. And as you can see here, the SDK tools built this new app-all JavaScript file. This is our minified, completed, new version of MVC Couch. And if we look at it in our text editor, we see that it has been minified to a single line of code that includes all of the source code files we need as well as all our custom application files in one single line of code. Now what we need to do is get these new files ready to push to our Iris Couch instance in the cloud. What I decided to do was create an entirely different set of folders to use with Couch App for pushing my optimized version of MVC Couch to my Couch in the Cloud. I put those files in a different directory off my Couch App root folder called JS Built. So if we go into JS Built, I have another MVC Couch folder here. I have a very familiar uh, folder structure. It matches the same as my other one except in the attachments folder, my files are a little bit different. You'll notice in the ext-4.0 folder, I don't have any of the source files in here. I'm only using some of the resources. So that's going to save lots of space. Also, I'm not using any of the other versions of the ext.js library. I'm only using the scaled down ext.js class here the core version of their files. Also, you'll notice that our application directory structure is completely gone in this version. Why is that? Because all of our files are now located in this app-all.js JavaScript file. And of course, this file came from here, my other MVC couch directory. All I did was copy it over that will become now my entire application wrapped up in one JavaScript file. And the last thing we need to do to get our files ready for Couch App is make some adjustments to this version of index.html. So let's take a look at that in our text editor. You'll notice here all I had to do was change this path to point to just ext.js and I needed to change this file from app.js to app-all.js. And now our index.html file is ready to be pushed to CouchDB on Iris Couch. All that is left to do at this point 
is run couch app. So we'll go ahead and open up a command line window like we've done here. We'll navigate to our couch apps folder, JS built subfolder, MVC couch subfolder, where our new optimized application resides. And we'll just run couch app, push. And this time we'll run cloud because that's what we configured in our environment in our couch app RC config file as our cloud URI. And there you have it. We just sent over the internet to our Iris Couch instance of CouchDB our totally new, minified, updated, optimized MVC Couch application. And as you can see here, Couch App tells us what the new URI is to our application. So if we point a browser there, you'll see that the application is running just fine. Here is our URI in the browser. You'll notice if I open up Firebug, the get request we made when we first loaded the app now includes this new parameter, DC, or disable caching, which we configured in our doc model just before we created the minified application. It's interesting how that disabled caching function works. It's just designed to add a timestamp to the end of all your get requests so that your request is always changing. And this will, in most cases, force your browser cache to regather the uh, get request instead of pulling it from its local cache. A very handy feature for cache busting and getting around this problem with your web 2.0 applications. You probably noticed I actually have two Iris Couch accounts. This one's being published to dshaneavery at iriscouch.com. And I have my application also pushed to another couch in the cloud. This is an older account, shaneavery at couch1.com. Right now, both of these are live on the internet, and you can preview this same app on uh, both instances of CouchDB. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. And it looks like we finally made it to the end of our series. I hope you found these series of tutorials helpful to you. If you have, please spread the word and let other people know about it. And if you like CouchDB and ExtJS4, please contribute to the community so we can continue to advance the framework. I've probably made many mistakes in my uh, series, so if you have any constructive criticism or any comments you'd like to make, please feel free to visit my website and post a comment on this blog post. I look forward to hearing from all of you in the future. Thanks again for your time and have a great day.